in your hearing. But every time the word comes, God speaks and he speaks to the hearts of men. I'm not here to frighten you with words. I'm not here to scare you. I'm not here to terrify you with the things that I'm saying. I'm here to inform you about what the spirit of the Lord would have you to know how this John shone in time. Today is a gift. The How gift many people have died in COVID. Half a day. Did he save them? The gift of a day. That's what today is. It's a gift from God to you. And this day is loaded with opportunities. It is loaded with benefits. And one of those opportunities for adventure, you know him not as your personal Lord and Savior. It's the opportunity to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is amazing what praises can do. Mm, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amazing what praises can do. Hallelujah. I don't worry when things go wrong. I will sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. For oh, I know that Jesus will give me a song. Ali, 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 Lu. Amen. Amen. People. 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 Hear ye the word of the Lord. He say in an acceptable moment. In an acceptable time. about the present tense. He's speaking about now. For no one know what tomorrow all in store for them. But while it is called to the end, we say the end of love is being extended. Because he wants you to come and know him as your other father. He wants you to come and know him as your papa. For he is the heavenly father. He is the good father. And he is the father of all spirits. He is the God of all flesh. And it's only right that the Creator dictate to the created. Tell us what is right from what is wrong. What is acceptable from what is not acceptable. Because He has the money wall of life. It was he who made us and not we ourselves. And he loved you so much. That he sent his best. He sent his best. And Jesus did it all for you and I. Why 
That through patience and comfort of the scriptures we might have hope. And truly our hope is in God, who have sent the Lord Jesus Christ to be a propitiation for our sins. He take our place instead of you and me. He become that sacrificial lamb. And the Bible says that they laid him in a sepulchre. But after one day, after two days, after three days, God resurrected him. God brought him back to life. And because he's alive, he's the guarantor that guarantees eternal life. Today you can become a recipient of eternal life. Today you can benefit greatly from what Christ has achieved, what Christ has accomplished on your behalf. He is the benefit. Dear friends, 
has the opportunity presented itself to be utilized in this manner wherein I might communicate the word of life proclaim the love of God in your hearing that you might know that God reaches out unto a dying world with his love and his power to impart and effect and transform and change life for he is the unchangeable changer and he can change anyone at any given situation today change has come are you willing to embrace change God wants to transform your life. He wants to keep you that hope. He wants to give you that assurance. And today you can receive the full benefit of salvation today the blood of Jesus speaks mercy it is the only blood I know that washes white and snow it is the blood that atoned for the souls of sinful man it is the blood the currency that was utilized to purchase the redemption of mankind. It is by the blood that we overcome him, the devil, and by the word of our testimony. But today, you can have one of the greatest testimony. Saying that I was lost and now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. Today you can become a child of no king. The king of kings. Today you can be born again. Today your journey of life can begin. Real life. It can start now. The race of life, the race of grace and truth. Because he have come into the world as a light. That all who will believe in him shall not abide in darkness. But they shall have the light of life. Jesus is light. He is the light of the world. And everyone that is outside of him, they are in darkness. They are in spiritual darkness. They are under the reign of Satan, whether they know it or not. They are under the governance of Satan, whether they know it or not. But he said, I am the light of the world. He wants to translate you from the kingdom of darkness and bring you into the kingdom of light. You deserve the glory and the honor as I lift my hands in worship as I bless your holy name you deserve the glory 
As I lift my hands in worship, as I bless your holy name. Today we want to bless his name. Today we want to make a joyful noise unto the king. Today we want to rejoice and be glad in that which he have created, in that which he have made. Today, we want to communicate something of substance and to those that are under the influence of the sound of our voice. Today, we want to point you to the Lord Jesus Christ. We want to point you to the one who has given his life as a ransom in order to redeem the souls of men to reconcile us back unto our heavenly Father. I want to point you to the Lord Jesus Christ and say to thee, my friend, my unseen friend, today could be the day, today could be that exciting moment where you say yes to life. Where you say yes to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today as he knocks at the door of your heart, as he beckons and reaches out unto you. Jesus is passing this way, yeah. He's passing this way, yeah. He's passing this way. Jesus is passing this way, yeah. He's passing this way today. Jesus is passing this way. He's passing this way, yeah. He's passing this way. Jesus is passing this way, yeah. He's passing this way today. You know, he continuously knock at the door of the heart. But when you open the door of the heart, open the door of your heart and let him in. Is there any room in your heart? Anybody can see in your heart? to accommodate the king. You see, although he was who he was, he was born in a lowly place. He was born in a stable, born in a manger, among farm animals. But that same Jesus who was destined to become and who have become salvation to the ends of the earth. That Jesus wants to be born again. And this time around, he don't want to be born in a stable. No, no, no. Now do we want to be born in a palace? Now we in a mansion or in a five-star hotel. But this time around, he wants to be born in the hearts of men. He wants to be born in your heart. In your heart. And even in your heart. And also your heart. He want to burn in all of us heart. That's where we want to be born. So I'm saying is there any room in your heart to accommodate him to the any vacancy in your heart to accommodate.
accommodate him to the air. He wants to come and abide with you. He wants to come and dwell with you. He wants to make his abode with you. He wants to come and take up residency in your heart. That is where he wants to come and dwell. God love you so much. God cares so much about you. As I'm about to bring my sermon to a close. As I'm about to bring my message to an end. I pray as many that are under the influence of the sound of my voice. That I word the word to hear. That will ponder over the things that have been spoken in their ears. That they will reflect and think upon the things that you are privileged to be hearing today. Because the clock keep on ticking and time keep on running out. All the while we are still in the land of the living. Such opportunity lended itself to be utilized that I may communicate the undiluted and compromising truth of the word of God. He sent the word and the word healed them and delivered them from their destruction to thee. Such a word of gone forth and it will not return void but it will accomplish the purpose wherefore it was sent. There will be a performance of the spoken word to thee. God love you so much. And God care so much about you. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place. You are my father. You are worthy of our praise. To you our hand we raise. You are awesome in this place. Mighty God. And you are mighty, 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 mighty God. You are awesome in this place. Place. Mighty God is my song here at this young shining time. He's an awesome God. He's a mighty God. He's a great God. And He's God and beside him there is none else. He said, I've sworn by myself and the word of God out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return that unto me every knee shall bow and every tongue shall swear. So it's that same God who highly exalted him speaking about the Lord Jesus and have given him a name above every other name that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow of things in heaven of things on earth even them beneath the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father so no other name given among men we are in this great salvation can become a reality God bless salvation in Jesus he is salvation he is the savior of the world so why look to someone else? 
Why look to something else? Beside him there is no savior. He is the mercy of God. He is the grace of God. He is the love of God that God has projected to mankind. He is the love of God that went about and was doing good, was healing all who was oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. He is the love of God in motion. He is the love that work miracles. He is the love that open blind eyes. He is the love that open the fears. He is the love that remove sickness and diseases from the bodies of those that have been afflicted by sickness and diseases. He is the love of God that God unveiled to humanity. For God to love the world that He gave His only begotten Son. The Son is the gift. He is the gift. The Son is the gift. He is the gift. For unto us a child is being born. Unto us a son is being given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, mighty God, and the Prince of Peace, the everlasting Father, and of His government, there shall be no end. So it's an eternal kingdom, and His kingdom supersedes. It superimposes upon every other kingdom. It overrules the African kingdom. It overrules the European kingdom. It overrules the Saudi Arabian kingdom. It overrules the United Kingdom. It's the kingdom of God. The kingdom of light. And if you are not in the kingdom of light, then you are in the kingdom of darkness. But today, Jesus has come as a light into the world that you might not abide in darkness. Today you can switch side. Today you can embrace the truth. Today you can come the way you are and he will receive you the way you are. He will accept you the way you are. He will not turn you away. For he came to seek and save that which was lost. And that which was lost is the soul. It was the soul that was lost. And he came to redeem the soul. And he is the redeemer. Today all you got to do, all that is being required of you, for the only qualification that you need to obtain eternal life, first and foremost, you got to identify yourself as a sinner and come 
come you are a sinner then you are qualified for he came to seek and say the last to call sinners to repentance We are standing in holy ground And I know that there are angels all around Let us praise King Just now we are standing in his presence and holy ground we are standing we are standing and holy ground holy 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 ground and I know I know I know I that you are angels all around. Let us praise King Jesus now. We are standing in His presence and holy ground. As I'm about to bring my sermon to a close. As I'm about to bring my message to an end, I pray for as many that is online. And I bless this town center. I pray for Bromley and its inhabitants. And as many that are coming and going, walking up and down, in this town center and I pray that the power of the Lord will be present to heal that signs and wonders will be done in his name and that there will be no distance in the realm of the spirit that the prayer of fear shall save the sick let the blind eyes be open to thee. Let the deaf ears be open to thee. Let the tongue of the dumb be loose. Remove sickness and diseases from their body. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be an harvest of soul. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, do exceedingly abundantly above all I ask I think. 